Hi, this is Ray Pointer, and I'm going to share with you why I think you should use heading styles to improve structure and appearance, and most importantly, to improve structure. Now, this is a free training video. It's one of the first ones that I've tried, and it's very much a one take. So probably I will make the occasional mistake and correction, um, and we will see how that goes. So here is the heading, just telling you I'm making this video in September 2017. But let's have a look at the document that we want to work with. So I've typed up some stuff in the way that a lot of people type things up. They've simply typed it up, which means it's all in what um, Word calls normal style. If you see where my cursor is up here at the top right and where I need a bit more space, I've hit the carriage return again, the return button, I've got a bit more space. And what you'll see people do sometimes is they go through, oh, well, this needs to be a heading, so I'm going to go bold and I'm going to make it um, 14 point but it's not really a heading it's just a piece of text that's been distorted and every other heading you want to make you'd have to do that distortion you might get it differently and you can't use the built-in facilities of Word to give your document some structure so what I'm going to show you um, are the really, really easy, straightforward ways that you can use one or two of the styles, um, get some control about how you want your document to look, and then how you can restructure it. And the document I'm going to be working on is actually about this topic as well. So you might want to download a copy of that to have a play with it later, the copy before and the copy afterwards maybe. So let's just use uh, Command Z to undo those two changes. And here's what the document looks like. So up at the top, this is my title. So let's scroll till we get to the title style and we say, OK, that's title. And let's have this as a subtitle. And I'm not going to go very much into titles and subtitles, um, but I'll show you the way that we can modify the styles. Um, so I'm going to pick this and that's really not very strong for a title so we'll, we'll make it bold and we will increase it to say 20 point and now I'm going back up to here where the the style is two finger click or a right click if you're using a, a mouse with two buttons and I'm going to update the style to match that so every time I use title from now on it would look like that now that's more relevant if I go down to introduction so introduction is clearly a heading so I select that bit of text and I tell it that's a heading one and you know that's that's good I go down to um, headings which is a section where we're going to talk about headings and that should be a heading one a bit further down and I'm talking about some sub topics within that. What is heading one like? What is heading two like? So let's call those heading two and heading two. And then let's go down to table of contents. And again, that is a top level heading, so we'll make it heading one. Now, those headings don't look very strong. I want them to look better than that. So if I take my heading one, one, one example of it up here, let's say I want that to be 18 point and I want it to be bold yeah that looks better now I two finger click back at the top of the page update to match selection and all my heading ones turn into this new style not just the one I've edited but all the other heading ones too turn into that style now let's go down and have a look at this one this is a heading two it's not strong enough really so we'll make that bold and maybe we'll make that 14 point Yes, that looks better. I come up to the top of the page, the two finger click and update to match the selection. Now every heading two in my document will look like this. So we'll go further down and we'll say styles. OK, that should be heading one. Normal is one of the styles that we're using. Body text is a style I'll talk about in another video. It's a really important one for when you're making, for when you're making documents. Um, this is a heading that we'll talk about in another occasion. Don't format instances, format styles. We'll make that. The outline view is another heading. Page breaks using paragraphs. Um, all of those are, are good things there. So these are headings 
that we're going to want in our document and that's that's nice but actually I can spot something here now this heading one and this heading two they would be better as part of styles wouldn't they so I could cut them and paste them further down but let's have a look an alternative view so at the moment we're in print layout view if we go to the outline view now we see the structure of the document and over here we're going to tell it to only show us level one and two now we can see aha that heading one up there really that should be down here in here and this heading two up there that should be down here as well so I'm looking at the whole document I'm looking at the structure the architecture of the document and I can move things around at heading one heading two um, heading three level whatever I'm using and it brings it all back together and when I've finished doing that I just go back to the print layout and now I have my document in the way that I want it to look so that is what I'm talking about when I say it looks better because you know that you've got a lot more consistency but it helps with the architecture and the structure. I'm going to show you one more thing before we finish today in terms of the structure. So if we go back up to the top of the page and uh, I wouldn't really put that in with carriage returns but this is for quick illustration purposes and what we're going to do is put in a table of contents. So if we go here um, to the insert and if you scroll down you'll get index and tables and then we'll go to table of contents we will just check what it's going to select it's going to select one two and three well we wouldn't want three to be selected and we wouldn't want subtitle or title to be selected and then we can click OK and now we can ask it to build the table of contents and that's built a table of contents just there so we would probably now put in a hard page break before the introduction and you only put a hard, hard page break where you always want a page so you don't put hard, hard page breaks after things by and large you put them before the start of a chapter or the start of the whole document so now we have um, written to illustrate that maybe we'll put in here um, the word contents so that we can see what that is I've chosen to show page numbers and the great thing about this is that it's going to update automatically so I've moved some things onto the next page so the introduction the headings aren't on page one anymore if I two finger click on the table of contents update the field um, update the entire table and now it shows me that really the good stuff is on pages two and three of this document um, it's a little bit not very pleasant at the moment so we're going to modify the subtitle style to say afterwards let's have uh, 24 points of space so that's a bit nicer there we'll make that as our standard for a subtitle um, and let's now put this into subtitle case as well and then let's do a save as again normally I would save as more often and we're going to call this post and it's going to replace the existing post already out there so I hope that's been helpful and that's the end of today's lesson about why I think you should use styles and today we've been looking at heading one and heading two mostly how you can use those to look at the outline to move the document around and restructure it and how you can create a table of contents that you can update with a single key press and request please let me know if you found this helpful